Welcome back to another video. So here on my channel, I'm always listening, learning, watching, listening, watching, learning. I'm talking about my comment section. So in my comment section, I notice a lot of my viewers that watch my wallet videos, my, my wallet reviews say the Trayvax wallet is the best wallet they've ever owned. So of course, I'm gonna take that information, go check out Trayvax itself, and kind of make my own decision, make up my own mind on that and see where I stand on it. So what I did, I went out and I bought Trayvax Element. So let's dig into this and see if it has what it takes to become my everyday carrier. So first off, it comes in a really nice cardboard box. Um, their logo here in silver, pretty cool. And if you turn around the back, it has a story. Oop. It has the story of the company here. And uh, right here it says, growing an American company, donating to nonprofits. And it does have a 65 year warranty on it, which is basically a lifetime warranty. Um, might as well just say lifetime warranty, guys. And right here it shows that everything is made in the USA, so that's fantastic. So I went with the uh, tobacco brown leather with the black stainless steel, the uh, plate, kind of like a chassis that is the backbone of this whole wallet. So just take it out. It comes with a little Trayvax card in there, kind of giving you instructions on how to condition this wallet to shape it to your cards. And um, before I get into it, let's talk about the outside here. So the leather is all top grain, oil tan leather, um, has a real nice touch to it. Um, just everything about this wallet right off the bat, I found pretty high quality. I've only been carrying this for about three weeks now, so obviously I'm not gonna have any patina to it or anything like that, but I have seen reviews that they've had it for a couple years and it starts re looking real nice. It starts to uh, develop a real nice patina around uh, the edges here where it wears in her pocket, and I think that's fantastic. So the stainless steel frame that surrounds this whole wallet, um, it comes in black and it comes in silver. And believe it or not, if you get the silver, it's like $5 cheaper on the website. I paid five extra dollars for it, uh, but just be aware of that. If you want the black as opposed to the silver, you'll be paying five extra dollars for it. So there's a little button. You can kind of see the button here. Um, it's not a snapping button. You can see it kind of just slides easily over the top. It doesn't snap, but it's pretty ingenious. It kind of just sits in there in this little groove right there. And it hasn't come apart in my pocket yet, but it doesn't snap. I mean, look, I can easily just take it right off and it doesn't seem to have any issues. It looks like once the cards are in there, it kind of, uh, the force of it, the tension, holds it shut. It's a pretty ingenious idea, and I've never seen an actual button like that on a wallet. It's pretty unique. The stitching here is all paracord. So it's pretty high quality, very, very durable. And you can kind of see on the inside, the paracord stitching, and then it looks like it's riveted right to this steel frame as you can see right there. Trayvax does have its logo stamped in the leather right here, along with Made in the USA, right there. And um, regarding this steel frame here, I'm not, this has, I'm not sure if this has any, um, any usefulness here, uh, just aesthetics. I don't think it's here for any other reason, just for looks. So just be aware of that, it's not a saw. Um, you can't take this and uh, you know use it for sawing wood or anything like that. It does have a hole with a little grommet around it, and you can use this for you know attaching maybe a, a lanyard or a keychain or uh, even a carabiner. So that's a really neat idea. Also, it has a bottle opener right here on the top as well. You can kind of see, and I'm going to test that out. All right, so here I have a very small eight ounce bottle of Coke, and uh, like I said, the bottle opener is right there. So what you want to do is kind of Lift it around the back there, and let's see. Yeah, works pretty nice. That's a great little addition um, that you don't see on a lot of wallets. I know uh, the Dango wallets have that addition on it, but um, that's actually a pretty neat idea that the um, that Trayvax put on their wallet here. All right, so now let's break this open. So it works kind of like this. When I first took this out of the package, I was a little iffy about it because it has the button and then you got this strap that kind of just hangs there and then the little flap that opens up and exposes your cards okay so let's take these cards out that Trayvax gives us and let's take a look at these cards here so it comes with custom fit instructions so the first thing it says is uh, soak empty wallet in lukewarm water for 10 minutes then insert your cards with this card on top and let dry 
Remove this card and your wallet is ready to use. It says once formed, the number of cards you can carry can always be increased but not decreased because once the leather is formed, it's formed in there and uh, you know, once you decrease it, they have a chance to kind of slide around or whatever. I guess that's the idea. On the other side, just has a message from um, Mark King and the Trayvax team. Also, a little hello card with a QR code. I scan this, it takes you to a YouTube video and uh, Mark King kind of introduces you to the company and thanks you for using their wallet. And uh, it's actually a pretty nice touch. Once again, like I was saying, I did soak it in the lukewarm water and uh, I only use five cards generally. So once I did that, it's it, it kind of conformed, but I've only had it for three weeks, so it's not enough time, I don't think, to have this leather conform to your cars and make a nice little uh, kind of mold, if you will. So when you turn around to the actual frame itself, you have this money clip. You can put a bill in there, kind of fold it around, close the bill up in your cards, wrap this back around, and snap it back up. So let's take some cards and test that out. So like I said, I generally carry five cards. So I'm gonna take five of these cards open it up okay so what you would normally do is put your most used card where this little uh, slot this little cutout is and put one here two three four five so they do say that this wallet does have RFID protection. So once this flap is shut, you should be protected from anybody trying to steal your information on your credit cards. As long as uh, your card itself, the chip isn't exposed through this little hole and I'll kind of show you that in a minute. But once it's closed, this is five cards. You can kind of see when I molded it, it kind of did uh, shape to my card right here, which is real nice and it made everything looser and it was really it was a lot easier to open and close the strap too so when you want to use a card unbutton it here hold it at the bottom and just simply slide your card up just like that okay so that's why i said you should use your most used cards maybe your most used one or two cards at the beginning here so i'll put it back in once again on strap push up boom it's super easy and then of course you have access to your other cards but just like any other minimalist wallet or slim wallet that i've used it has that same issue of conveniently getting to the cards in the middle okay this one does kind of solve it a little bit better than the other ones but you can still fan it kind of like this and then you can you know reach your cards kind of like that. Um, it's still kind of a pain in the butt, but it does kind of solve that issue that some of the other wallets that I reviewed has, and uh, that's one of the downfalls of this type of wallet. Also, when you're putting your card back in this kind of wallet, you got your chip there, and if you put it in this way, put it in like that, your chip is completely exposed, and um, you're basically just giving your, your card information out to people. So remember, that this is just a slider for your thumb, put it in with the chip up, and nothing is, is exposed. Your card numbers will be there, but nobody can do anything with just you know a few of your numbers right there. Um, that shouldn't be an issue. So if you do still like to carry cash, Trayvax has you covered. Right, this little clip right there, you take your bill, and what I found to be the easiest was to just have it folded in half like this, stick it under the little clip there, fold it back over and fold the flap and then button it back up. And unlike the other ones with just a money clip or a strap, you have no danger of your cash falling out of this at all. This strap kind of takes care of that. So I had no worries at all with my money falling out of this wallet when I was carrying it. I absolutely love that feature of this wallet. One negative I found about this wallet after carrying it for the past two or three weeks getting ready for this review is uh, it's a lot thicker than what I'm used to. So I did that old grandpa wallet that I used to carry because I didn't like the thickness of it. I hated it. It's always in my back pocket. I wanted a front pocket carrier, an everyday carrier that was in my front pocket. And this wallet is a lot beefier than the, uh, the other wallets I've reviewed in the past. So as you can see, it is thicker. And I have these wallets here to kind of compare. And this one right here is just a cheap nylon wallet that I got at Walmart for like five bucks. So, um, oh, 
Oh yeah, you guys, you guys didn't see that. But you can see without anything in it, this has five cards in it. And as you can see, this one is completely bare and it's still thicker than the Trayvax. That's why I am not a fan of these trifolds anymore. So that one, no. The Dango D01. Okay, if you guys wanna see the review I did on this, I'll put a link right above. But you can see how thin this one is as opposed to the Trayvax. I know there's nothing in this one right now. I'm about to put five cards in it and then we'll test out the thickness. Okay, so here's the Dango wallet, five cards in. The Trayvax Element, five cards in. So let's take a look at the thickness now. So yeah, see what I mean? I mean, it's still a lot thicker just because of the leather. Let me turn it around this way too. I had this in my front pocket and it just sticks out like I was carrying an old trifold. Um, so that is definitely one negative. Also, the Ridge Wallet. So without anything in it, you can see the difference. Okay. The Ridge, of course, is super, super thin. But let's load this with five cards and uh, see how it compares. All right, so here's the Ridge Wallet aluminum with five cards in it and you can still see the thickness comparison and I mean not even close if you're gonna go with the Trayvax wallet um, you're going for style a big draw that I had when I was looking at this wallet I was like oh my god okay cool it's it's steel it's leather there's paracord stitching it's just a unique looking wallet and I really really like that about it also it comes in a bunch of different colors um, there's a lot to like about this wallet. The things that I don't like about it is, is, you know, of course, the thickness of it. If you don't mind having a thicker, slim, minimalist wallet in your pants pocket, this might be the absolute perfect wallet for you. Okay, as I mentioned before, it does come in many different colors. So if you go to the actual Trayvax website, click on Trayvax Element. So yeah, it's $69.99 for the model that I have here with the black um, stainless steel frame that goes around it. And it comes with... Ooh, um, actually, let me show you. So the black metal, and if I go to the silver, it drops it to $64.99. Um, so let's put it back to the black. So tobacco brown, steel gray, not available with the raw. Uh, Mississippi mud, available with the raw with both colors of metal. Stealth black, available with both colors of metal. This was my second choice in color, which was the canyon red. It looks great. And you can get it with both colors of metal and the burgundy color which is not available with the unpainted steel frame and if you scroll down it gives you the great benefits of the wallet the integrated money clip top grain oil tan leather it gives you all the information here slim design you can go to the website and check it out for yourself um, read up on the the wallet the Trayvax wallet they're a great company i'm not regretting my purchase of this wallet at all i absolutely love it um, am I going to make this my everyday carrier? That's still yet to be seen. I'm still carrying it to this day after my review, so it could be. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Trayvax Element Slim Minimalist Wallet? I like to carry them around for three weeks just so I know what I'm talking about before I do the review. And this one, I'm not regretting it at all. Like I said, it's still yet to be seen if I'm going to make this my everyday carrier. Um, I just love the looks of it. It's just a high quality, good looking, very, very functional wallet. Everything about this just makes sense. If you are one of those who's looking to ditch that grandpa wallet, you're just looking to upgrade your wallet, go check out Trayvax. Many different colors, many different styles. You won't be disappointed. And no, I'm not sponsored by Trayvax. Trust me, I even contacted them to uh, kind of see if I can get a discount. Because you know what, guys? I'm not sponsored. Um, I'm not independently wealthy. I'm not rich. You know, just having to go out and buy these wallets, it gets a little pricey. It gets expensive um, with everything on this channel. Usually what I like to do is reach out and just politely ask, hey, you know, if I review your wallet on YouTube, you know, throw me maybe 10% off and they didn't like that idea one bit as opposed to Dango and The Ridge who both gave me 10% off their wallet when I bought them. Uh, Trayvax, they didn't give me any discount, but it didn't affect this review at all obviously because i'm telling you i like it i'm telling you to go to their website and check it out and i'm telling you if you're looking for a new wallet this could be your next wallet because it's absolutely fantastic and if you guys did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video